Have you ever used press on nails? Have you ever painted your own nails? Well, today I'm going to be doing both and trying to duplicate the design on my press on nails. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a press on nail polish challenge where I duplicate the design on my press on nails with regular nail polish. So I got all of this stuff from Miss April Fashion Girl. I have some nail polish and I have some press on nails which came with a nail file. I have a whole bunch of cool stuff from Miss April Fashion Girl so make sure that you like and click that subscribe button if you don't want to miss it. So I have yellow and blue here that I'm going to be using and I also have some alcohol prep pads that I'm going to use to clean off my nails. So I'm just gonna open that up and start cleaning off my nails and if you're wondering the directions are on the back of the box so you won't forget. And the directions are actually pretty simple. So I'm going to clean those off really well and then I'm gonna put them back in the package because I am so neat. And then I'm gonna just blow them off so that I, they'll be nice and dry and clean and ready for me to press my nails on. So I have yellow, then there's white with yellow, blue, and pink, which I really love the design of. And then there's some pink nails for the thumbs and some regular blue. And I like how all of the colors come together on the white nails and make a really, really cute design. So I really, really love these and they're super shiny and nice. So it looks like a very professional manicure and it's not even noticeable that they're presents when you use them. So anyway, these already have glue on the back, so all you literally have to do is make sure that you line them up on the cuticle and press down. I don't even know if you're supposed to press on that hard, but I was pressing on this one nail the first time for like five minutes because I just wanted to make sure that it stayed on there. But it stayed on there really, really well, and they're pre-glued, so you might, like when you're trying to put them on, it might get stuck to your hands a little bit. Once you get it situated, then you can just put it on your nail, press it on, and you will be good to go, and it will not come off. If it is too long, then you can file it down, or if it's just longer than you want it to be, then you can file it down and get it to the size that you want it to be. So after doing this nail, I was pleasantly surprised because I've never used press-on nails before, and they turned out really good. So I'm going to try this blue one here and just press that on. It's literally as simple as pressing on the nail and they are really nice. I'm emphasizing how shiny they are because they are so, so shiny. Like they're just so shiny and the light that I use is just bouncing off of them and it's so nice. So there's also numbers for the different sizes of nails and as you can see, my space got a little bit messy because I didn't realize that and I was trying to pick out each different one and test it hovering it over my nail trying to figure out which size went on which one. But this is the white one and it turn it looks really, really nice. I just love the design on the white one so much. And there's, there's press on nails like everywhere because I was trying to figure out which ones would fit on my nail. But I figured it out. So this is the white one. I really love the design on the white ones so much. It has little blue stripes, yellow stripes, and pink stripes, which are like the main colors, and I love how it coordinates so it has like the regular main colors, and then they all have like little tiny bits of them on the white, so the design is really, really cool. I have two blue ones, and I'm gonna put one yellow one for the pinky. And the only thing that is wrong with the yellow one is that it's a little bit too short, and you can't make the nail longer. Now I'm all done. I have the pink, the two blues, the yellow, and the white. So everything that I did on this hand, I have to do on the other hand using regular nail polish. But I have to clean off my nails first because it's important to clean your nails. I couldn't find any good base coat. The only one that I had was kind of like dried out and weird looking, so I'm just going to use the nail polish. The only thing about the press on nails is this one yellow nail that is a little bit too short. 
and you can't make the press-on nails any longer. You can file them down, but you can't make them bigger. So if you guys are like me and you might have some bigger nails, but you still think the design is really cute like I do, then you can get the nail polish instead and try to duplicate the design like I'm about to do. So I have some yellow nail polish that I'm going to use to replace that nail on my other hand. Thank goodness I did the press on nails on my right hand so I can use my good hand to try this nail art. I'm going to just, I'm probably gonna do two coats because it's always better to do two coats to make sure that the color is very solid and smooth and shiny in case you messed up on the first coat. I always like to do two coats, so I'm also going to be using the blue. It's not an exact match of the color, but I'm fine with it, it doesn't really matter. But you can get all of these products on the Miss April Fashion Girl website. So if you want to check them out, then I'll put a link to her website down in the description as well as all of their socials. So now it is time to do the pink nail. I used some of my own nail polish for that since I don't have any pink Miss April Fashion Girl nail polish. So now that that is done, it is time for the infamous white nail. The only thing that I don't like about white nail polish is that you have to do so many layers just for it to be solid because since it's white, it's like most of the time it's see-through and you just have to go over it over and over again and it's so noticeable if you make one little tiny mistake. So I'm just gonna go over everything twice just to make sure that the colors are solid and nice and smooth and cleaned up. And of course, I have to go over the white nail quite a few times. But the good thing is it will be covered in nail art on the bottom, so even if I have little mess ups, it's fine. And also, if you ever get some nail polish on your cuticles, then that's okay because I'm gonna show you a little hack to get it off without even messing up the rest of your nails. So here is the hack. So take a cuticle pusher and wrap it in a cotton ball. Then you dip it in some nail polish remover and use the pointy end to wipe off any nail polish that you want to get off of your cuticles. And if you just take a shower, then the nail polish is just gonna come off because it's not meant to stay on your skin. So you can clean it up or you can just wait for it to go away of natural causes and it's gonna look amazing. So the way that I'm trying to do this nail art is I'm trying to do like layers of it and somehow I ended up with an entire Olympic pool of nail polish on one side of my nail so I have to clean that up. It's kind of, it, it smudged a little bit but it's gonna be okay because I'm going to go over that with another color. I'm not just trying to do the individual stripes. But now that that is cleaned up, I'm going to do the yellow and it's so hard to do it's like like trying to paint sideways because usually you go up and down and ooh, oh it, it's kind of it's weird but the good thing is only the top of this has to look neat and even though half of the nail polish ended up on my cuticle we have this hack this wonderful hack that will get the nail polish off and it only has to look good on the top because the bottom is going to be covered with pink nail polish. So now that is done, I've cleaned it up and it is time for the very last color, the pink. So it's almost done, we're very close and I can see it already coming together in my mind's eye. So I'm just gonna try to like dot that on. There is a whole lot of polish on the cuticle, but that's okay, we can fix that. So we are all done. Guys, I think, me just this is just me, me, me personally, I think that it turned out pretty good. The regular plain nails are clean and not too messy, so those are matching, and the middle nail is actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna turn out. It's kind of like doing a little upward slope thing because that's how I thought it was going, but I think it, it went pretty well for not even using like professional brushes or anything. This is just nail polish. I think I, this is like a professional job here. Like, I don't, I don't think anyone could really do better than that. I'm just gonna cover this with some clear nail polish to make it extra shiny, like my press-ons, 
As I have mentioned, I love how shiny they are. So I'm going to try to make them as shiny as possible. I think it matches pretty well. I am pleasantly surprised with my skills here. So if you guys have bigger nails like I do, you can use some Miss April Fashion Girl polish or you can use some Miss April Fashion Girl press on nails and you can still get a super cute design. I'll put a link to her shop down in the description and make sure that you guys like and subscribe if you want to see other videos like this. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye!